Hello and welcome to SpaceX Flight, where we explore the awe-inspiring advancements of SpaceX and its visionary leader, Elon Musk. Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the secrets behind SpaceX's limitless ambitions and the groundbreaking technologies such as a potential Starship upgrade propelling humanity towards the stars. From everyday Falcon launches to the up-and-coming mega-rocket Starship, we will explore what's next for the company. All that and more coming up in today's episode of SpaceX Flight. Before we get in, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit the bell, so you don't miss another awesome episode with us. And with that, let's get into it. Starship already stands as the world's biggest rocket. At 121 meters when fully stacked, it towers over with the height of a 36-story building. However, it is not enough for Elon Musk who has stated his ambitions to make the rocket even taller. He said, We've got a version 3 ship design that will stretch even taller probably. End up being I don't know 140 meters before it's all said and done maybe 150 meters at the end in length. Yeah so be even taller than it is currently. This means V3 will have a height increase of 25% over the previous version. In-depth details of these models are scarce. However, a name change can indicate some significant changes, like the redesigning and optimization of fuel tanks, and increases in payload capacity. Speaking of payload capacity, Musk has stated that V3 will result in an increase in mass from 100 tons to 200 tons. This can carry another obvious benefits aside from increased payload mass, which is an increase in volume in fuel without seeing a significant increase in a rocket's dead weight. However, to maintain this, Super Heavy needs to be lengthened as well. Starship may be getting an extra three Raptor vacuum optimized engines, adding to six in total, for increased thrust and by extension, increased payload to orbit. That's not mentioning more Raptor engine upgrades such as Raptor V3 and more progressively powerful versions. If you would like to learn more about the evolution and progress of SpaceX's Raptor engine, Check out this video in the top right. Bigger is truly better in the scaling of rockets. As successfully shown in SpaceX's transition from its first Falcon 1 to the Falcon 9, of which, Falcon 9 being only 10 times heavier, while seeing a 20 times increase in payload to orbit, with only a 10 times increase in thrust. This was turbocharged with Falcon V 1.1 upgrade, which saw upgrades to propellant mass fractions an increase in payload capacity while only a small increase in dead weight, as well as an increase in specific impulse or ISP and finally, higher exhaust velocity certainly counts. This can cleverly be applied to Starship 2 so an even bigger rocket is certainly something SpaceX is looking into. A single big rocket is nothing when trying to colonize Mars, so lots of even bigger rockets will bring numerous advantages when it comes to making it a closer reality. A bunch of makeshift tents and high bays are not suitable if they want to mass produce starships. So, to solve this, SpaceX is expanding Starbase in Texas and also constructing a new factory to mass produce prototypes and, in future, rockets which will carry humans to Mars. SpaceX has also stated it has the capability of producing one starship every 72 hours, and once this factory is fully operational, mass production can begin and SpaceX will continue iterating on their designs, producing even better ships in the process, as is necessary for a program of this immense scale. Learn more about Starship's up and coming factory by clicking on the top right video. Starship is also gearing up for its second launch tower, as multiple launches with launch frequencies seen with the Falcon 9, which is multiple launches per week are needed for an orbit refueling. An estimated 15 launches are needed to fully fuel Starship in orbit. This is essential for the Artemis missions. And in the future, Musk's dream of 1,000 Starship launches ferrying people to the Moon and Mars as well as other destinations. Not to mention fulfilling all the launch contracts Starship already has under its belt even though it has not reached orbit yet. Other companies and agencies will no doubt join in with different methods of achieving a very simple objective reducing spaceflight costs and increasing spaceflight accessibility. If SpaceX can out-innovate all its competitors, they can monopolize the rocket launch industry 
and generate tons of money from the ever-expanding space industry and will change how we view space exploration forever. That is all for today's video. Please give your thoughts in the comments section below. Your feedback is crucial and helps us make better videos. Also please don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit the bell so you don't miss another awesome episode and with that, we'll see you next time.